County in Florida was ready for Hurricane Ian, but not for what came after. Is population collapse an actual threat? And the Supreme Court kicks off a new term with controversial cases and a new justice? Hey! Laura Davis here! It's Monday! Ready for the news? Let's do this! The short list is a snappy USA Today News Roundup. Subscribe to the newsletter here or text messages here. DeSoto County, Florida, weathered Hurricane Ian, but the residents there weren't ready for the floods that followed. A day after Ian tore through the county of around 35,000 full-time residents nearly 50 miles inland from the coast, people were relieved to have survived the catastrophic storm largely unscathed. Then, Flood waters came gushing down the Peace River, overflowing its banks and flooding thousands of homes. Officials assisting with evacuations acknowledged the speed of the flooding caught them off guard. Now, it's up to Mother Nature to drop the water levels before recovery can begin. The short list is free, but several stories we link to are subscriber only. Consider supporting our journalism and become a USA Today digital subscriber today. Some highlights from today Laura L. Davis is an audience editor at USA Today. Send her an email at laura at usatoday.com or follow along with her adventures, and misadventures, on Twitter. Support quality journalism like this? Subscribe to USA Today here. This is a compilation of stories from across the USA Today network. Want this news roundup in your inbox every night? Subscribe to the newsletter here or text messages here.